Hello guys, so this is gonna be a bit of a throwback uh, type video. If you guys were subscribed to the channel back in like 2017, then you guys know that I used to do a lot of different reviews, like DVD reviews, book reviews. Basically just me showing the packaging for different stuff and uploading that as content. Well, guess what? I'm doing that again today. Bringing it back to basics one last time, cause why not? But anyway, today we're gonna be talking about Green Day. 39 Smooth, but not that copy of 39 Smooth. This copy is an original 1990 pressing of the album, and we will get into that in just a second. Because about a week ago, uh, I held off on opening this mysterious package right here because this package is something very special. So if you guys were keeping up on Green Day's Instagram, they announced that they would be re-releasing their debut album through 123 Go Records on colored vinyl. And their debut album, for those who do not know, is 39 Smooth. And on uh, the CD reissues, it was renamed to 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours because they included the 39 Smooth album and all the tracks from their first two EPs. 1,000 hours and slappy. That is what this package is right here. I hate to spoil it for you guys, but we are going to open it on camera right now because uh, it's colored vinyl and colored vinyl is kind of cool. Uh, considering the fact that this comes with a reissue of the debut album and two different uh, EPs, all three on colored vinyl, um, this thing was actually not too bad price-wise. It was 40 bucks. And um, with the price of vinyl nowadays, it's a big reason why I'm not collecting vinyl as much anymore just because it's, it seems to have gotten so goddamn expensive over the years but anyway so here we go one two three go records green day 39 smooth is the first thing up and i don't see anything else i don't know where the eps are maybe they're inside the packaging but 39 smooth the seminal 1991 punk rock classic restored and reissued on silver vinyl including original seven inches on green and yellow vinyl so I assume that uh, they are in the packaging here. Featuring the songs at the library, I Want to Be Alone, and 1,000 Hours. Exclusive color vinyl, copy number 919 out of 3,000. So I don't know how quickly these things sold out, but I know that they weren't on the market for very long. So I suppose when it comes to comparing the packaging on these two, obviously when it comes to the original pressing, the Green Day, uh, logo and the text 39 smooth is in a darker green and also 39 smooth the text is offset from the center That's just how all original pressings were Meanwhile, this one is on a lighter green and 39 smooth is centered uh, kind of like the CD reissue and Then the back uh, seems to be more or less uh, the same with uh, the portrait of Billy Joe Mike and John Kiffmeyer uh, same track list, same everything. Yeah, the only thing that's missing from the reissue is uh, the Lookout Records uh, information up here. And, but, yeah, everything else seems to be about the same. This one has the reprise records information down in the corner. And then there was one other thing in here. I think this is a sticker. 123 Go Records, 420 40th Street, Oakland. 15 years. That's pretty cool. And by the way, if you look at the spine, Green Day 39 Smooth, Jimmy put down the head, uh, I don't know if I can, can I say that last word? I don't even know, but I think that's the same as, yeah, the original pressing is up on top, Lookout Records, number 22, Reprise Records, 39 Smooth. Okay, so the sleeve is now empty, and now we can get to the 7 inches, I guess we'll start out with the first one. A Thousand Hours by Green Day. This has A Thousand Hours, Dry Ice, Only a View, and The One I Want. So it's interesting how the hype sticker says that this uh, set includes I Want to Be Alone, but that was technically a bonus track on the 1039 compilation, unless they threw it on the slappy thing here, but that song shouldn't be a part of this whole thing. Okay, let me take out this piece of paper real quick to see what see what this is okay this is the lyric sheet for a thousand hours only a view a thousand hours dry ice and the one i want so that's pretty cool to have they even have the replica uh, lyric sheets in here and then this is the first colored vinyl that we're getting a look at right now side a 
thousand hours in dry ice and these do play at 70 no not 70 45 rpms and then side b only a view and the one i want to the slappy ep right here so on the back we got paper lanterns why do you want him and then side b 409 in your coffee maker and knowledge um got all the information down there at the bottom so yeah this uh doesn't include i want to be alone the hype sticker it lied okay this is on some very vibrant uh yellow vinyl side a paper lanterns why do you want him and then on side b you got 409 your coffee maker and knowledge and i don't know if this one comes with a lyric sheet or not it doesn't seem like it comes with a lyric sheet so that kind of sucks but at least got one for a thousand hours you got the insert there green day with the art and this is the lyric sheet for the actual 39 smooth album and i think the one in the original pressing i want to say folds out but i'm not entirely sure i could be wrong about that okay it doesn't seem like it does this is the one that comes with the original pressing i thought it folded out um i thought there was a little bit more artwork to it but it seems like everything on here is pretty much similar the one on my left is the reissue and this one is the original so yeah pretty uh similar things doesn't seem to be a whole lot of difference you know copyright 1990 for all the different songs and then here is the actual record for 39 smooth side a at the library don't leave me i was there disappearing boy green day and then side b going to pass 16 road to acceptance arrest and the judge's daughter all great classic green day songs even though 39 smooth probably their worst album from a production standpoint obviously because it was their debut uh definitely might be my favorite out of their whole uh, band output on some beautiful silver vinyl i don't know how any of these sound because uh you know i haven't you know it's my first time even looking at these records but i bet that they sound really cool so yeah and then i suppose for completion's sake i will show you the record for the original 1990 pressing i put it in one of these uh paper sleeves here that you know actually protects the vinyl so there's side a and then there is side b so the record uh, labels themselves are pretty much the same so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know this was a pretty simple unboxing type video but i was really excited to get this album uh reissue along with the two singles because again all these songs really do mean a lot to me you know i'll give you a closer look at the packaging now that i don't have it on the tripod you know a thousand hours and then slappy slappy on the yellow vinyl uh, a thousand hours on the green vinyl and then 39 smooth itself on the uh gray silver vinyl so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video next video that will come out will be in the next week or two i'm not exactly sure but it'll be that model a video with the old car so i hope you guys look forward to that and more stuff coming soon to the channel this is just a little small video to hold you guys over so yeah uh let me guys know if you guys want more music content because music content is pretty cool and vinyl content let me guys know if you guys want to see more of that but anyway um I, did i just say let me guys know if you guys want more of that i don't know it's late at night i want to listen to these albums so i guess i'm gonna go do that so yeah